Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. Today I'm going to show you how to make seven gin cocktails. So this particular list was voted by you guys. There was actually too many cocktails, so this is only volume one. I'm probably going to do a second and a third volume. So make sure you subscribe if you aren't already so that you don't miss out on future videos. So the first gin based cocktail is the Aviation. The Aviation was one of the most popular search cocktails back in 2013. And it's been printed in numerous cocktail books, many of which excluded the Creme de Violette as that liqueur was largely unavailable in the States until recent years. So start off with your London Dry Gin. Some people call for a Plymouth Gin. I thought I'd use the Aviation because it's aptly named for this particular cocktail, the Aviation. So start off with 60 mils, two ounces, add that straight into your shaker. Followed by 15 mils, half an ounce of your maraschino liqueur. and three quarters of an ounce, 22.5 mils of fresh lemon juice. And lastly, the creme de violette. Just one bar spoon, five mils. And this is gonna give the drink a nice purple hue to it. Then fill your cocktail shake with ice and give it a quick shake. and straight into your chilled coupe glass. And for garnish, if you prefer, you can either do a citrus twist or drop a maraschino cherry in it, considering it's got maraschino liqueur in it. There you have the aviation. So on to cocktail number two, the Tom Collins. It's a classic cooler served using old Tom gin. It's really easy to riff and add flavors such as elderflower, lychee liqueur, or use fresh fruit and syrups. And some recipes call for a dash or two of bitters, but today I'm gonna to omit that and this one is simply built. So start with your old Tom gin, 60 mils, two ounces, and add that straight to your glass. Followed by 22.5 mils of fresh lemon juice. So three quarters of an ounce and 15 mils, half an ounce of your one-to-one -one sugar syrup. Then fill your highball with ice. and add a dash of soda. So add about 60 mils, and then just give it a real quick stir. And then garnish with a wedge of lemon and a maraschino cherry. So there you have the Tom Collins. On to cocktail number three, the Basil Smash. So back in the mid 2000s, a German bartender created the Basil Smash, a herbaceous gin sour recipe. So third cocktail in a row that calls for 60 mils, two ounces of gin. So for this particular one, the Basil Smash, I'm gonna be using Antipodes. It's got some citrus and floral notes to it. So I think that'll go really well with the basil and obviously the, uh, the lemon juice, the citrus that's in the cocktail. Add that straight into your cocktail shaker, followed by fresh lemon juice and sugar in equal parts, 22.5 mils, or three quarters of an ounce. And again, this is just the same one-to-one -one sugar syrup. Then add your basil, about five or six leaves. I usually, depending on the size of the leaves, obviously, I usually just give them a tear and throw them straight in. Now, when you add ice into that shaker and give it a shake, it's gonna bruise and uh, impart those herbal notes on the drink. Add your ice and then give it a good shake. Fill your old fashioned glass with ice and strain over the top. In most of my videos, I don't double strain. Uh, a lot of people swear by it, but uh, in this particular one, I actually do quite like the, the little bits of basil that make it into the drink. So if you can see, it's got this nice green color to it and then garnish with the basil sprig. There you have the basil smash. Next up, cocktail number four is the gin bramble. So back in 1984, London bartender Dick Bradsell tweaked a classic gin sour by adding creme de mure, which is a blackberry liqueur. Feel free to tweak this by adding a jam, whether it be blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, or whatever you have on hand. So, the bramble. Little did I know, according to Dick Bradsell, who's the original creator, it's just built. 
which makes my life a little bit easier from now on. So I half fill your double old fashioned glass with ice, with crushed ice, and add 45 mils, one and a half ounces of your preferred gin. Today I'm using Signature Gin by 23rd Street Distillery. It's made with Riverland citrus, uh, particularly mandarins. So I think it's gonna go really quite well uh, with the citrus tones and the blackberry in this cocktail. 22.5 mils of fresh lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce, followed by 15 mils, half an ounce of one-to-one -one sugar syrup. Doesn't need a lot because I'm just about to add some more uh, blackberry liqueur, some creme de mure, and that's got quite a bit of sugar content to it. Now kind of overload your glass with ice, then add 22.5 mils, three quarters of an ounce of your creme de mure, which is a, a blackberry liqueur. And depending on seasonality of fruit and where you're located, you can garnish it, this with some fresh blackberries. Blackberries are pretty hard to come, come by where I'm from, so I'm gonna utilize some raspberries instead. So there you have the bramble. On to cocktail number five, one of my favorites, the Clover Club. The Clover Club is a pre-prohibition cocktail, first published in 1901 in the New York Press. This particular recipe was published in Jeffrey Morgenthaler's Bar Book. So for the Clover Club, I've chosen to use West Winds, which is an Australian dry gin uh, using a few native botanicals. So this particular recipe calls for 45 mils, 1.5 ounces of your preferred gin, followed by 22.5 mils or three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice and raspberry syrup. So this is a store-bought raspberry syrup, but it is quite uh, natural, like a lot of them you can buy, uh, have a lot of preservatives and everything, and it's not quite the same as making it yourself. But I'll leave a recipe in the description below so you can make it at home. So same measurement as the lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce, 22.5 mils. Because we're using an egg white as well, you wanna dry shake this cocktail. So that's half an egg. Give it a quick shake and emulsify the egg before adding ice and then shaking a second time. Now strain into your chilled coupe glass. Traditionally, this one doesn't have a garnish, but it's up to you. If you want to, you can do a citrus twist or like I'm gonna do, just some skewered raspberries. So there you have the Clover Club. And getting close to the end with our gin cocktails, we're onto a gin fizz. A fizz is a sour lengthened with soda water. So start with your cocktail shaker and add half an egg white. So this is gonna add a really nice texture to your cocktail. This calls for a, a double shot, so 60 mils or two ounces of a dry style gin. Followed by 22.5 mils, three quarter ounce of both your fresh lemon juice and your one-to-one -one sugar syrup. So first start by giving it a dry shake. So for those that don't know, dry shaking is just shaking without ice. Just be careful because if you are using a warm shaker, there's no cold ingredients in there. The seal can break quite easily and it can go for it. Then to your cocktail shaker, add ice, give it a wet shake, and then you can get ready to strain it into your glass and give it a shake. So this particular drink isn't served on ice, so you do wanna make sure that your glass is nice and cold. Store it in the fridge, and then add about 90 mils of soda water, and then strain it into that glass. So pour it nice and slowly, and if you do it right, you should get this uh, really frothy head. And when you keep pouring, it should actually be able to stand tall above the glass rim. So garnish with a lemon twist or a lemon wedge. Uh, I'm gonna use a piece of dehydrated citrus. 
and just add it straight on top. <laughs> there you have a Gin Fizz. And then on to number seven, the French 75. So the original version of the French 75 calls for cognac, but gin is the more common choice nowadays. So the French 75 actually only calls for 30 mils, one single ounce of gin. So today I'm using Prohibition Gin. It's another South Australian local gin. I've chosen this one as it's got grapefruit notes to it that will partner up really well with the citrusy notes of the French 75. Then 22.5 mils, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice followed by 30 mils, a full ounce of your one-to-one -one sugar syrup. And then add the Prosecco or your champagne straight into your cocktail shaker. So about 60 to 90 mils. And then just give it a light swirl. Fill your highball glass with ice. And strain over the top. And for garnish, a twist of lemon. In my case, I'm just using a dehydrated piece of lemon. So there you have the French 75. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you comment below and let me know which one is your favorite cocktail out of these seven. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because this is only volume one and we've got more gin cocktails to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.